Well, I've been taking more dumps than usual, and as you can tell by my rock and pod, uh, it's helping me lose weight. So, bought a new shitter. Cause this old one sucks. First, you're gonna shut your water off. And then you're gonna flush your toilet. Yes, I'm still holding the handle down. You want to drain the tank completely. Oh. Then you're going to take your plunger and you're going to get rid of the extra water in the bowl because I forgot to do that on the last toilet. And when you remove it from the base, all that extra water comes pouring out. And uh, it's, it's a mess, it's probably about a gallon. So. This would be a great time to mention, if you are gonna put in a new toilet, you should have already bought the toilet and had it here. Cause if you're, you know, you're about to remove the bolts for the toilet. And once you do that, it's gonna smell really bad cause it's open sewer line. There is no pee trap underneath the toilet. So, so, <clears throat> you take off these caps here. Before you undo these, you're gonna wanna disconnect your water line here. And you might wanna have like a towel or a bucket or something handy in case there's some extra water. But YOLO, we're going for raw dogging it. The only way. Oh fuck! Shit! Fuck! So one of the uh, Johnny bolts is being a bitch. I knew it was gonna be that way. Uh, so it's gonna be Dremel cutting disc. Just gonna cut it off. But uh, one of the most important things you can do is have at least a 100 foot extension cord for uh, a five foot job. Once you have those bolts removed. You can pull the toilet up, but I wanted to show you guys something. That, as I was lifting the toilet up, that's, that's one of those flushable wipes. And I don't know how long that's been stuck in there. Um, but, you know, they say, they say it's flushable, but you should never actually flush those things because they get stuck just like that. And there, there's no telling how much shit and piss and menstrual fluid and cum and like all kinds of other disgusting stuff has touched that. So I gotta go put some gloves on and uh, and clean this up. Now for my least favorite part, get yourself like a Walmart bag or a Kroger bag. Uh, Cause we gotta scrape off the old wax seal. Once you get that cleaned up, put your new wax seal down uh, with the new Johnny bolts into the old closet flange. You can use that if it's fine. Or if it's cracked or fucked up, put in a new one. That's the new toilet. It's a Water Ridge one piece dual flush with the push button piston doohickey. Uh, it's pretty nice. So I got it set down on top of those bolts and then you just put your uh, little plastic fitting, a washer and a nut on both sides. You tighten those down evenly. Uh, and don't over tighten them, please, because you can crack a toilet bowl in something as nice as this. It'd be a real shame. Hex line in my house, so I'm gonna have to use this. I'm gonna reuse uh, there's like an old brass fitting inside uh, <coughs> this little uh, thing right here. I'm just gonna reuse that um, with a new washer. You always wanna use new washers. If you use an old washer, you're gonna have leaks. It's gonna be a bad time. 
I, uh, I like this toilet so much. I'm gonna put a ring on it. Great success! Alright, so we got our water turned on. No leaks. Fills up to the right line. Oh, this is sort of a two hand job. Our lid's on. Not really sure what the point of that was. It's just gonna get covered in shit! show you guys this seat and just have a little bolt that goes through this hole and you have your little nubby thing that you screw up and then uh, you know it goes into these two things here but check this out if you press this button so when you want to clean this thing how easy is that gonna be it's freaking cool, and it's like the slow close lid too, which I love. I hate it when people slam the damn toilet lid. That just irks me. Uh, that's a water ridge. Get it at Costco. Fucking legit. Oh man, hardly any noise at all. So sexy. I guess now I can sit in comfort because of all the dumps I take because of my high carb low-fat, uh, whole foods, raw till four, fruitarian, vegan diet, or heck, even one of you, if you see my house, just stop on by and take a big old shit, uh, you just go on the porch, you know, I might not be home, and I'll just flush it down the toilet later and send you a video of it, so, um, yep, see you next time, happy, happy crapping.